Welcome back to Smart Money Monday. Today, we're going to focus on financial tips for different stages of life. This week, we're going to cover buying a first home, having a first child, and what to do when firmly established in your career. There's a lot to get to. So joining us now, Taylor Kirahara from Negative Hawaii. Thanks for coming in, Taylor. Good, good, good to see you, Steve. Yeah. Okay, so last week, we ended with getting married in that stage of life. On to the next stage now. My spouse and I are buying a home. How do we make that decision? Yeah, so it's definitely tempting to buy your dream house right off the bat. But at this stage of your life, it's probably more important to purchase a home that won't put too much stress on your financial assets. Speaking with a financial or maybe a mortgage professional can definitely help you plan a home buying budget based on the assets and, debt, the, uh, assets and debt, debts that you have right now. Okay, so no waterfront property right off the bat. Yeah, right? so no waterfront property, <laughs> Steve. But you can definitely make that one of your retirement savings goals, right? Okay. Also, if you and your spouse haven't gotten life insurance yet, you might want to look into that before you buy your house. That way, if heaven forbid something should happen to one of you, you'll still be able to make the mortgage payment. So you also want to make sure that that policy covers the repayment cost of your home. Okay, so good advice. Time for another life stage, and with it comes another plot twist. Having a baby. Oh, wow. So your family's moving fast. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Seems like just a couple of weeks ago, we are starting our career. Anyway, what kind of stuff do we need to take into account when we're, we're planning to have a baby on the way? Good. So a few things about that, right? So first, if you didn't create a will right after getting married, you might want to work with an attorney to get one set up. And while you're working with this attorney, you might also want to look into establishing a trust agreement if you already have large financial assets. Uh, should I start saving for college right away? No, well, you can open what's called a 529 savings plan to start building a college fund. However, if money is tight and you have to choose between saving for your child's education or maybe your retirement, you always want to focus on your own needs first. Student loans are readily available for parents and students, but financing is much harder to obtain once you're in retirement years. Okay, fast forwarding to the next stage in life, my career is at its peak, I'm making more money than ever, which sounds like a dream. Uh, what should I do with it? Right, so you really wanna get serious about your retirement savings plan, right? So put as much money as you possibly can every year into your 401k and into your IRA if you have one. And it's also wise to meet with an accountant to figure out all the tax deductions that you may qualify for. Since you're making all this money, you're probably paying a lot of taxes. All right, so pound the 401. Definitely. All right, last thing about Taylor Kirihara joining us uh, as we go through the different stages of life. Taylor, thanks. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for watching Smart Money Monday.